hello it's Sarah and I have a frame to share I the last video I posted I had shared some I was having some ideas about a project I wanted to do based on the work of Shara Frank she's a mosaic artist and she uses all types of things in her mosaics so she uses regular um, stained glass tiles, beads, jewelry pieces, you name it. Um, and when I looked at her art, I was inspired and thought, well, I could probably make some of those pieces with polymer clay. So I basically took some clay and I rolled it out to my thinnest setting on my pasta machine because I wanted to be able to cut the clay as well with scissors. And I just use these. These are from Joann's. Um, I took my little cookie cutters and I basically just went with small, sh like, kind of sh geometric shapes. Oh, and I also did floral shapes. So, kind of made flower petals. Um, I did some stars I didn't end up using. I did some diamonds. I didn't use them. And just did, um, kind of... A mishmash of different pieces that I might use in my mosaic. I really didn't have, I did start with a drawing, which I can't find this, but it turned out nothing like this. I was just kind of getting some ideas of what could I do, um, and so that, I, that's not what I did, <laughs> but it is good to kind of just get some ideas flowing, right? So then I left everything and I went away for the weekend. I went to my cousin Fran, got a new house. She lives in Maryland. So I went over her house and we hung out for a couple days and fixed up, like put some stuff away and moved some stuff around and did some stuff with her. Um, I also joined a gym last week. So I've been going to the gym. I'm going to go tomorrow again. Um, and then this morning, I actually came down here and I really wanted to do some inchies. That was my plan. I was going to make some inchies because I had seen a couple videos and thought, I have not made inchies in a long time. So I am planning on doing that. Um, both polymer clay inchies and... Um, paper inchies. I'm going to do some mixed media inchies as well. See, look how thin this is. I mean, this is so thin, this clay, you can actually bend it, but it's really easy to cut and you can make as long or short of shapes as you want. Um, so I'm still planning on doing some inchies. I think I'm going to do them, I'm going to make, I'm going to stamp this onto watercolor paper and color it and make a few inches out of that and probably some more of these um, coloring stamps but I think I'm going to use watercolor on watercolor paper so anyway that was my plan today and then I remembered my clay that I had made to do my mosaic so I went ahead and did that so it's a frame it's one of my dollar store not dollar store it's the dollar frames from Michaels and it just uses a dowel to stand it up and this is what I came up with so I basically wanted it to be most of these clay colors are the Primo accents and um, I saw a video by Kelly um, gosh Kelly I can't think of your YouTube channel oh my god I have no brain anyway um, she was saying that the Primo Accents is super soft and sticky, and you're absolutely right, it is. Um, that being said, though, I love the colors. I love the colors of the clay, and that's what I used, and I also did use um, mica powders. And mica powders are either Perfect Pearls or Pearl X, and I have both. And they come in these little bot or, um, yeah, bottles-ish, and you rub them on the raw clay, and you get this awesome sheen 
So most of the clay on here, I don't think I did the teal. I don't think I rubbed anything on the teal, which I could still do with um, a rub, which I might because I do have this gorgeous color, which is called, it's turquoise. And I think I am gonna do that. I'm gonna go around and do that. Um, so let me just talk, talk about what I did. So what I did was, I basically just started in the center. I'll zoom in a little bit. And I started with my um, pearlescent, the pearl. What is it called? Uh, I'm going to show you. This is such a, good, a great find. I want to share what it's called, opal. And this is one of the Primo Accents colors and it's called opal and it is literal it's like it is so gorgeous all I, I use it in a couple places but I started out with that because I had cut these sticks of it and see like the, the mica flakes this is all sticking out like you have to trim it because the mica flakes stick out they're plastic anyway so I did that these are actually blings like um, they're from Michael's and I have tons of them from when I was doing like let uh, layouts and stuff. So I just found some type of cheap, I mean this is not expensive stuff, you know. It's this was on clearance for 50 cents. I put those in between. I'm just gonna rub them because I, I might have gotten I haven't really cleaned this off since I did it. I want to make sure everything is shining. I also use these, these are gold pearl um, sticky backs, like you know, I have pearls, I have all types of this stuff, so I pulled it all out, see look, there's two gold ones left, but they were little pearls, um, what else, and then just regular pearls, these are little pearl um, flat backs with sticky back, and then there's little tiny blings in the corner. Um, and then wherever I didn't fill in with a piece of clay, I used stickles. And some of that got like, I'll show you, I'll go closer. So you can, I wish I had perfect pearls, which is like a, not perfect pearls, what is this called? Liquid pearls in more of a teal color. Or I guess this is aqua blue. This isn't aqua though. This is more of a, like a baby blue. And that's really all I had. This one is too green, so I, I went with stickles, and I mean, I think it filled it in pretty good, so I like it, though. I just started in the center and worked my way out, so I did flat, and then I did, these were actually um, an oval cookie cutter that I cut in half to make the scallop, then I did triangles, filling that in in gold, and then I put the gold pearls in between those. And these are, I've had these in my stash forever. These are little flatbacks. I think I got them at a, um, an Etsy vendor. But I just went through all of my kind of jewelry looking stuff that had flat back to it. Um, and I'm so glad I found those. And I'll use those again because they're awesome. Uh, and then everything else is clay. Yep, pretty much. These are little clay... Um, some some like that's an actual pearl but this is like a piece of clay that was shaped like a pearl so I could cut it and put it in that because it wasn't really there it, it wouldn't fit otherwise so I tried to fill in as best I could um, and I think it turned out pretty cool like for a first attempt um, this you know I hope you can see yeah there's like a flower here and then I put the leaves and I put the leaves to fill in and then I just started filling in as best I could. I did this um, aqua part, and I just started, like, I filled in with the purple, little scraps of purple. So see, you can kind of tell that I'm adding a little bit of sheen to this turquoise clay. Just on the parts. Oh, I textured it, too, as well, with my texture sheets. The blue, specifically this one, has like squares on it or I think it might be called screen I'm not sure why oh, I got it on the pearl but see how that just 
brings it to life. It adds a little extra sheen. I don't know if you can, maybe I'm not close enough. So yeah, I've been busy um, doing stuff outside. I'm, I'm still trying to find a container for my fairy garden. I haven't been able to find the exact one that I want to use yet uh, because I want to get that going. I have to paint a bench, a, like, a, a bench that we sit on in my yard needs to be painted. So that's in the basement, ready to be painted. Um, so yeah, boy, that jazzed that up a little. So do you like it? I think I, I would have liked to fill in some places a little bit more. Um, like, I left too many, too much black showing through. Like, I wish I had perfect pearls or something that would take up the space, the black space, but it's not that much. I think you can see it pretty good. And then, because you can see a lot of the black, I decided to use, um, this is called Winkastella. It's a, basically it's a pen, but it has glitter inside. It's like a glitter pen. And this is just the clear, it's just clear glitter. I kind of took that and I put that all over any of the black that was sh standing out and it makes it shimmer. So I like it. I think it turned out pretty cool. It's a lot of work though. I don't know that I would, I mean, I think it turned out really cool for a first attempt. And I didn't really have um, any idea what I was doing. I just took what I had and kind of tried to fill the space, you know? So that being said, I think it's, it's okay. I would just try next time to f have pieces that I could fill in some of the black spaces with, you know? So, all right, I guess that's it. I just wanted to share that real quick. And maybe we'll do a little tutorial. I could do a small piece. Maybe I could do a box with just this, like, you know, the same theme, but in a smaller version or something. We'll see. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.